Very sad story. Black teen shot and killed by an ex cop because he was going to see the ex cop's daughter. Put up the picture. 15 years of age, Cornelius McGee, they called him CJ. CJ was shot to death by a former Clarksdale, Mississippi police officer after visiting the cop's daughter. Cornelius was killed near the 1200 block of West 2nd Street at 4.30 PM on May 22nd in Clarksdale after you ran out of the home of a former Clarksdale officer, Andrew Bankhead. That's according to WREG. CJ was reportedly dating the former cop's daughter and fled when the former cop returned home and became angry upon seeing him. The teen's mother, Jacqueline Rash, is demanding answers. Rash told Action 5 News that she'd received almost no information from the police and was told by eyewitnesses what happened to her son. I hear four shots when I just made it home from work. I think thinking he was here at the house, recalled Rash. She went on to say that she had begun to go toward the scene when she received a text from one of CJ's friends who lived next door to Officer Bankhead, telling her that her son was lying in the backyard dead. When she arrived, the police would not let her see her son. The mother said that the neighbor told her Bankhead shot her son twice after he fled the home. Now the little boy that stayed at the house, he said, the man, my baby over there with a little girl, the man chased him. He said, a man shot my son in his leg as he was going over the fence and then shot my son again in his back. Why did my baby get shot in the back if he was already out of your yard? He wasn't no threat, why shoot him? The mother said she was told her son was dating Bankhead's daughter. And she let him inside the house, meaning there's no criminal trespass at play. She believed that her son was murdered for dating the daughter and nothing else. No arrests have been made, ladies and gentlemen. Child is dead, bullets in the back, not on the property, no arrests made. And Bankhead's first cousin, Julius Voss told REG, WREG News that Officer Bankhead claimed CJ broke into his home and he had to shoot him in self defense. He had been involved in a shooting, she said, that someone had broken into his house and he defended himself. The Mississippi Bureau of Investigation has reportedly taken over the investigation, but Bankhead has yet to be charged with the crime. Now, I'm going to say this clearly. I have no confirmed picture of this cop. I don't know what race he is. I don't give a damn. His ass needs to go to jail now. Those in Mississippi, I know a lot of you, many of you are absolutely remarkable people. It's time for leadership to rise up, do exactly what you need to do. Make sure this story does not leave your headlines in the local media, your state media, until there is an arrest. There's a 15 year old child that's dead. He's dead. Facts have been established to a degree that warrants, that justifies an arrest of the man who did it. Now, I understand Mississippi politics are a little different at times. This is a 15 year old child. If you call yourself a leader in Mississippi, I don't care if you're part of a civil rights organization, an advocacy group of another brand. If you call yourself a leader in Mississippi, and you don't stand up for a baby that's been shot in the back. You are nothing but a feckless cow. Now you don't say anything when they're knocking on the neighbor's door. There won't be neighbors to help you when they're knocking on yours. This is more than reckless. All right, Ricky, once again, no charges. Yeah, yeah, it, it's, just, it's just the whole blue shield thing. Uh, it, it's so sad uh, and you're absolutely right. No matter what color that cop is, uh, he need to go to jail. This kid is on the fence. All of us have been teenagers. All of us have 
uh, went over a girl house and the mom and dad pull up, you're running out of the front door, or back door. It just d- does not justify. Why don't you put your daughter on punishment or change the locks or take your daughter with you or, or whatever, but to shoot someone else's child uh, while he's climbing the fence trying to run away or uh, get the child's information and go over there and have a conversation with the parents as opposed to pulling. You can't think of nothing else to do. Other than pull a gun, you could have went over there and talked to the child's uh, mother and father and have a conversation with them and schedule some visits, some couch, some sofa sitting like we had to do when we were 16. But to take a gun out and shoot somebody, uh, uh, somebody's child like that, you are absolutely crazy. You should be locked up. And I'm sure uh, that, that that my frat brother, uh, Daryl Johnson, president of the NAACP, mm-hmm and everybody that's in Mississippi. And we're gonna be talking about it tomorrow morning uh, on the Ricky Smile the Morning Show, cause this is good. absolutely appalling. Good, good, thank you. And, and I will say this, uh, if the ex-cop is willing to do, do this to a child, being an ex-cop, imagine what right. this man did while he was a cop. Right. This is what we're dealing with. All right, we'll stay on top of it.